Hello, everyone. Welcome to Traff Clans webinar. Thank you so much for joining with us today. Uh, we are uh, we are just a minute late, so sorry for that. But we are here. Uh, okay, uh, welcome everyone. A very warm welcome to each one of you. Today uh, we are discussing a very interesting destination, a very interesting reason region uh, per se. Uh, we are exploring the that part of uh, of the country, which uh, is very rich in culture, primarily because in the last four thousand year it's been explored and you know ruled by over eighteen dynasties. Yeah. Yes, we are talking about uh, South India, and uh, today. Uh, we'll be exploring all uh, all the weekend gateways and all the you know almost all the important tourism and travel destination uh, for south india and for that we have with us miss bhargavi from your dream holidays hello miss bhargavi how are you hi tarang i'm good how about you i am good too i hope you are safe and uh, you know excited about today Great. Okay, Bhagavi. I just would like to ask you, and uh, would uh, would want you to actually give the audience a brief about what exactly are we going to. Please, your voice is little low, Taran. Can you please speak little louder? Yes. Uh, am I am I audible now? Ha, huh, bit better. Okay. So, uh, I would just like you to actually, you know, give the audience a brief. about what exactly are we going to explore today in south india you know which all destinations we'll be covering yeah a, 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 a basic brief yeah surely so we are covering today a complete south we can get away actually we are combination with a lot of uh, states such karnataka tamil nadu pondicherry and few destination in andhra pradesh telangana as well so it's a combination of all south so we are going to tell uh, explain about everything each and every destination which is the most uh, recommendable destination okay okay so uh, we are actually you know uh, we are actually going to explore almost all the major uh, destinations uh, in south okay so uh, i would just like to announce that uh, yes we will be having uh, the south india destination knowledge quiz after the presentation but before that i think we should just start off with the presentation if everyone is ready bhargavi over to you i would just request you to start sharing the screen yeah and uh, we can just begin with the presentation yeah so can we start yes yes please door closed do you do you door closed yeah so we'll start with a small video yeah sure the screen is clear or not yes i think the screen share stopped bhargavi hello bhargavi hello yeah your screen your screen is not visible it stopped it stopped okay fine fine so we'll go ahead with a ppt first your your screen share is stopping uh, again and again i'm not sure what the problem okay. is yeah just go to the slide show option yeah now okay now okay no it's actually stuck yeah it is okay no 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 it's stuck it it is it is stuck on like how fine it's not full screen right now it's not full screen right now is it full screen in your your uh, yeah system? it is full screen we we cannot see it over here I'm not sure
Will okay? Uh, it's it, it 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 is not visible over here. It is not visible. Uh, actually, it's not going full screen. Uh, I think you you'll have to enable editing first, and then it uh, might work better. Can you just press that button? Any any problems, Bargavi? No, just a minute. Sorry for delay. Okay. Really. Well, audience, we will be having uh, the quiz. I am sure that you will be listening to the entire presentation very carefully uh, because uh, all the things that we discussed today in the presentation, as well as you know, before and after the presentation, can be in the quiz. So, just a quick heads up on that. Uh, well, I think we are ready with the presentation. Bhargavi, over to you. Uh, now the screen is visible. Yeah. Now. Okay. Yes. So we can start. Yeah. Sorry, we are. Yeah. We'll start more exciting destination. We are telling the South Weekend. Okay. okay. In a South Weekend, we are going to discuss several states such Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Pondicherry, and Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. So we'll start with Karnataka. Okay. Yeah. In a Karnataka, actually, we have a lot of options to all kind of like a whatever their clients requirement, either wildlife or hill station, beach destination, or pilgrimage and much more. So we'll, we have uh, the six categories, wildlife and beach destination, heritage, hill station, and city hub pilgrimage. We'll start with wildlife sanctuary and adventure. And uh, adventure, Dandeli, the most recommendable destination, Adventure is the app for Dandeli. So we have a lot of options to do adventure things in Dandeli. It is a 460 kilometer from Bangalore and 70 kilometer from Hubli. And most interesting thing is very near to Goa as well, just 130 kilometer. And this is the best time to visit in September to May. And we have a lot of options, not, not only adventures. We can see it's a, it's a completely located in a forest. So we have a wildlife sanctuary, Satori waterfall, Sintori rocks. If we come to the activities, so we have a most famous activity here is white water rafting. Yes. So most of the locals and even foreigners also visit Dandere, especially for this. And we have another more activities such as coracle ride, rock climbing, jeep rattling, and trucking also. So far to cover this Dandeli minimum three to four days is required. And we have a lot of different kind of stays in a Dandeli, such where rarely like a tree house and rock halls and a tent camping and a forest stage, such kind. And for a birds lovers also, this is the place to visit. So this is about Dandeli and we'll go for the next. Yes, Nagarhole National Park. This is a national park wildlife sanctuary which is near to Mysore, 100 kilometer and 250 kilometer from Bangalore. And it is a near to Kurg as well. So when we are covering a Kurg, we can recommend Nagarhola National Park as well. And is all the days is recommendable, but September to May is most. And we can do here a deep safari. It's a long duration deep safari we can cover here like a two to three hours. So this is one of the wildlife sanctuary near to Bangalore and Bandipur Tiger Reserve. This is also very near to Mysore, just 80 kilometers. We can do as a day cruise from Mysore as well. And if we want to take a combination of trip, we'll do with the Kurg, Uti and Mysore as well. So this is also having a deep safari for a wildlife sanctuary. Then Kabini. Kabini is a small destination where it's very near to Mysore, just 20 kilometers. And from 170 kilometers from Bangalore, we can refer this for many activities. And we have here a luxury stay. 
such a four star five star stay and this that same resorts only they will offer a different kind of activity like a jungle safari elephant safari trekking bike riding boating and cycling and many more but this destination is a uh, due to means only a season camp when there is a heavy water then only we can recommend this company with a different combination either mysore or like while going to uh, uti we can recommend one night stay company the next is banargeta balajpal park it's a uh, very near to bangalore and we have lot of option to do and it's to cover is minimum one day is required and most of we can recommend as a day trip from a bangalore this is recommended for a educational tour as well and we have a interesting aspects for a kids a lot it's not a wild a life it's a biological park but we can experience all kind of uh, wildlife wild animals here via jeep safari and we have one more interesting thing is butterfly butterfly park so this is the recommended for our kids so we have next beach destination so karnataka beach destination is lots of option is there so now i'm going to introduce few thing that is the mangaluru mangaluru having the airport as well and we can recommend as a best beach destination it is near to kurga so we can give a one or two night stay in mangaluru covering beach and we have a uh, some hotels here not any uh, resorts not much uh, but from manglu we can give a kur either udupi different combination we can give and again a gokarna it is bit far from bangalore for 50 km but most of the people will recommend uh, uh, to uh, give an interest towards gokarna to stay because there is a lot of beach side stay and it is very near to goa as well. So, who want to just chill out to experience a beach destination? We can recommend go Karna, sure. And Karwar, again, this is also very near to Goa, and uh, even uh, go Karna as well. So, we can do combination with go Karna, Karwar as well for a beach. So, we'll go with heritage destination. Karnataka is the best place to experience the heritage and good architect in a temple. So, that is the Hampi. This is a 66 kilometer from Bubli and 350 kilometer from Bangalore. This is the Vijayanagar Empire heritage place where we can see a different kind of architect and delightful. And we have more sightseeing places as well, such we give an a Lakshmi Narayana temple and other more temples and for a shopping, Hampi Bazaar is the famous. Minimum three days is required to experience Ham. So we'll go for next heritage place that is Badami. Yes, this is a sand caves, completely sand caves. It is. It's located near to Hubli only. We can choose Hampi combination with Bada Badami, and here the famous is Haihole and Patana Kallu also very near to Badami. So we can choose. Three days to experience complete Badam as well. Next, Mysore and Sri Rangpat. This is a very near from a Bangalore, just one fifty kilometer, and we have lot of options to Mysore, and this is one of the famous destination while we are doing the south. So Mysore is end route we can choose while going to Uti or Vinod or Kurg. So we have lot of option, uh, options for uh, to do a sightseeing. The famous is Mysore Palace and Karanji Lake. Karanji Lake is very rarely people know, but it is recommended for evening to chill out. And there is a boating as well in a Karanji Lake and Brindavan Garden. Brindavan Garden is for evening time. So there is a, a water. a uh, music water fountain also there so we can recommend after 7 o'clock so they can see light show as well so next for mysore zoo yes mysore zoo is case less but for covering mysore zoo minimum 3 hours is required make sure your time is fixed only if you are available of time or time permit you can cover zoo as well and chamundi hill it's a temple uh, where it located in a hill place but it is a such a fantastic view from a hill then we can recommend for st philomena church 
and in a sri lanka patna in a sri lanka patna lot of options are there where there is a tipu death place we can recommend that but if people are uh, expecting a different way we can recommend a bird sanctuary this is rangan tipu bird sanctuary where we can do boating as well and the kids will love this place easily one to two hours you can spend with your families and here the uh, especially we can see rare birds and the crocodile as well the very rare lake where there is a crocodile so to cover this mysore is minimum two days is required if we have a days to experience more we can spend three days easily then bijapur this is also a heritage place is where near to hubli just 190 km from hubli and we have some more uh, golgunja jamia jamia masjid and bijapur fort also very famous in a bijapur we'll go with the hill station and waterfall so we have a nature hill treasures in karnataka so we'll start with tourg is known as a scotland of india so we have a tremendous hilly view and coffee estates in a cruise it is a 250 km from bangalore and we have many more places this is for a honeymooners will most recommend a cruise with a combination of uti as well so we'll come to the attraction so here we can cover a dubara elephant camping and which is located at kushalnagar actually cruise will divide as two one is kushalnagar and madikeri madikeri is a weather town point and where we can see the views and everything and kushalnagar is just a starting point from a cruise so we have a three sightseeing places in kushalnagar that is elephant camping elephant camping dubara is we can interact with the elephant there is some activities like a riding and we can kids will love to do that elephant boating such kind of Uh, according to timings we should follow though next kaveri nisargama it's a island and we have a hanging bridge where the traveler uh, most of the clients will enjoy this place easily one hour. and we have a tibetan temple also then if we come to the madikeri around surrounded place that is the kala kaveri it's a cool temple but again there is a very scenic beauty points are there and while going to kalakaveri we have a very good fantastic view points then malali falls it is a bit from far from madikeri so if they the clients have a lot of days to stay could go and will recommend a malali falls but it must visit place we can suggest that and abe falls it is very near from madikeri town so it is a regular falls which but we can't uh, get into the falls we can just click a photo and from there mandala patti yes mandala patti view point must we should recommend to the customers for uh, experience real cool actually but the for going the mandala patti there is a narrow road so till one point our vehicles can go from there so we have to take a local jeep such thing so we have to take our local support and our driver support as well and irpu falls this is the falls where little far from kur but it's very near to nagarhole national park if any time if the clients are covering nagarhole please recommend the irpu falls because they can enjoy the waterfalls really there they can into the waterfalls they can enjoy So this is our boat tour and tour is famous for different culture the tour is have a compact corner that they use unique uh, culture for them even a food clothes wearing thing and even a festival so it's a little different compared to karnataka so you can experience all those with coffee estates and this is to cover minimum 3 to 4 days is recommended so we'll go with another hill station that is chikmagalur yes it is a 250 km far from bangalore it is one most recommended destination for a hill hill station and we can take a combination with tour guides well. and this is the uh, we have a lot of sightseeing places such mullangiri peak baba buddhangiri peak g point kemban gundi other more mullangiri peak is highest peak in karnataka so trekking lovers can recommendable it is 
in a chikmangalur stays again in a kurg we have a lot of options the resorts home stays hotels whatever they buy there but in a chikmangalur there is a bit uh, complicated in a stays that is home stays we can recommend either luxury stays we have plenty of options but it's most recommendable hill station as a nature view particularly from november to february you can see the hilly mountain and fog while doing the truck so the tremendous experience you can do we will go next that is nandi hill it's a small hill station where it is very near to bangalore this 80 km so we can recommend as a day trip so a when the travelers having a two night stay in a bangalore they want to experience a nearby places then nandi hill is the best place for a day trip so we'll go with next joke falls this is the second highest plans waterfalls in india it's a uh, falling from 850 830 feet it is a bit far from bangalore but we can recommend it if they are the waterfall lovers and it we can do as a day trip and we can take a combination with shimoga So we'll go with Shivana Samudra. This is very near to Bangalore, and we have a both combination of this waterfalls next to next to Gagana Chukki waterfalls and Bara Chukki waterfalls. One to one is just fifteen minutes distance. We can cover, and we have most advantage of this falls is we can cover while going to Mysore. There is a two routes while going to Mysore. One is Sri Ranga Patna route. Another one is Shri Shivana Samudra route. If the customers don't want to cover a Sri Ranga Patna, then we can recommend this August to Jan is uh, August to January is the best time to visit. And we'll go with City Hub. Yes, the so Bangalore is the place where the people want to do experience of city life, pubs, shopping, eating, roaming. This then Bangalore is the best place to experience, and we have. Some more interesting sightseeing places here. That is Bangalore Palace, Kabban Park, Lal Bal Botanical Garden, and other. And the food lovers can experience street foods and many more South Indian uh, food restaurants are there to experience. Then we'll go with pilgrimage. Karnataka again is a pilgrimage place. We'll start with some of the uh, pilgrimage main. We'll see Shravana Bellagala. It is a one fifty kilometer far from Bangalore and eighty five kilometer far from Mysore. It is a huge statue of a uh, which called as a Bahubali statue as well, fifty seven feet high monolithical statue, and it is a built in nine eighty one eighty. And next we'll go with Udupi. It's a Krishna temple which was built in thirteenth century, and it is near to Mysore as well. Just Sixty kilometer from, and we have other sightseeing as well in a Udupi, uh, such kind of nearby uh, temple. And one more interesting sightseeing must uh, recommend is museum. We have a corporation bank heritage museum where we can see a coin collection from before independence as well. So when you are visiting a Udupi, must recommendable. And for foodie lovers, would be a lot of options are there to experience the South. So we'll go with next Murudeshwar. Murudeshwar is famous for world second largest reward statue. It is surrounded completely sea, Arabian Sea. The temple is authority also having installed a lift. Actually, they do have a Raja Gopura of twenty floors, so they kept a, one lift into it. Where the travelers can experience a huge view, so we can see from there uh, statue of Shiva and beach view also. Next, Shringeri. Shringeri is a very famous for Sri Sharada Peter, and it is established by Sri Adi Shankar Acharya in eighth century. And one more pilgrimage place is Dharmasthala. Dharmasthala is very famous, old eighty eight hundred year old temple. It is a beautiful temple town for blend of heritage, culture, religion. Karnataka is a very famous and must visit uh, heritage place, uh, pilgrimage. 
and we'll go for a Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu will carry out a combination with Hill Station, Pilgrim Maze one. We'll start with Uti Kun. Again, Uti is a famous hill station. So where the honeymoon we can recommend for a Uti Kunu combination. So we have lots of options here to do in a Uti and we can choose the three to four days as well. And we have a different routes via Coimbatore, we can do that. And from Bangalore as well, via Coimbatore, we can it's just 80 kilometers from Coimbatore. From Bangalore, it's a 300 kilometers. So it is the best recommendable is September to May. And we have a lot of attraction places here, such as Uti Lake and uh, Paikara Lake, Amelan Lake, Botanical Garden, Rose Garden, and Aulanchi Lake. We'll come one to one. So Paikara Lake. If you are traveling from Bangalore to via Bangalore, so Paikara Lake will get before Uti only. But we'll recommend to travelers to, if they are covering the Paikara Lake, to skip a Uti Lake. Because compared to Uti Lake, Paikara Lake, boating and everything is fantastic. They can experience best. And we have other options like Botanical Garden, Rose Garden. In a one day, they can cover Paikara, Botanical Garden, Rose Garden. And next day, they can plan for Dotbeta. So we'll recommend Dotbeta to must visit place, sightseeing place. And we'll recommend to choose either morning because to experience that hilly look. And other more options also there, if they do have a many more days, we can give a Avalanche Lake. It is a bit far from Uti. It is required a more than half a day to cover. But is, if they do have a more day, we can recommend that. And again, Madhumalai National Park. If they are coming from Coimbatore, they can't cover any wildlife then we can recommend Madhumalai Wildlife. And one more place is Kunur. Kunur is the best for a trap, Nilgiri toy train. So this is famous for Kunur. So we have a train where from Uti to Kunur, it's a toy train. Why it is toy train means it will travel in a hill station, certain uh, place only, not completely to a fair. So it's a small train. Uh, we can plan uh, from Uti to Kunur either morning and evening. There is a different timings. So make sure when you are choosing the Kunur time, book online before and your comfortable timings. So you can experience that your thought, right? And in a Kunur, there are a lot of options to stay as well. So if customer is having the three nights for Uti, so we recommend two nights in Uti, one night in Kunur. Like that to experience the tea estates and many more. So for Uti Kurnu, minimum three to four days is required. Then we'll go for a Kodai Canal. Kodai Canal again is very uh, near near to Madurai, one twenty kilometers, and from Uti two fifty kilometers. So we can do combination with Uti Kodai Canal if they require. So this is the best time for September to May. And we have a lot of options to do sightseeing in Kodai Canal, lake, waterfalls, trucking, and forest. The forest you can experience. We give a Kodai Canal Lake, Silver Castle Fall, Bayanta Park, Green Valley View, and many more places are there. And boating you can experience here in a Kodai Canal Lake. And we have a lot of stays, luxury stays, resorts, and homestays hotels, everything for all kind of customers. So we can recommend Kodai Canal, including the Uti as well. Chennai. Chennai is the capital city for Tamil Nadu. It is also having a very nice sightseeing and it used to do here as a city, huh? And beach destination as well. Yes, we have a, a Marina Beach in Chennai and other more interesting sightseeing as well, like a uh, Guni National Park and uh, Mahabalipuram also very near to Chennai. And we have a government museum, Chennai Museum, where you can experience the uh, before independence, how it's uh, Chennai is called a Madras, and few things to experience. You can visit the museum. It's required one or two days according to your plan. And Aikar, it's a small hill station where it is located to near Salem 
and it is also we can plan from bangalore for a car it's a 220 km from bangalore and 370 km from chennai recommend camels october to feb and we have little options to do activities as well trekking cycling boating and high rope and zip line also and the minimum 3 to 2 to 3 days is enough for to cover this area some of the travelers want to chill out then we have a stays there resorts and hotels as well so you can recommend then elangiri this is the adventure hub near to bangalore 125 km it's located in tamil nadu and 65 km in velur but we can uh, organize this trip ex bangalore only but this is the best page place for adventure lovers we have lot of options for that and sightseeing places as well so we have a lake to view and hill station and the activities trekking and zip line and human slingshot also available where rarely it is so here it is available and lakeside camping also so we have a lot of option to stay here also camping hotels resorts so highly recommended destination is elangiri for adventure lovers and we can organize here as a group corporate trips such thing also we can plan easily then rameshwaram and ganeshpuri rameshwaram is where lord shiva built rama setu across the sea to lanka lot of mythological stories are there about rameshwaram it is very uh, important in a ramayana so we can recommend rameshwaram for a pilgrimage level with ganeshpuri so it is near from madurai airport 170 km and from chennai 560 km and all the time is recommendable from october to april is the best time to visit and we have other more attraction temples are there in rameshwaram and dhaneshwari where the rare destination we can see there is no land only complete with a uh, town which is completed with a sand yes so we can see the buildings where the churches where there is no top the uh, railway station where there is no platforms such kind of different experience you can see in this small town dhaneshwar and it is minimum 2 days is required so you can take a combination with rameshwaram madurai kanyakumari pilgrimage center as well and we'll go with next kanyakumari yes it is near to madurai 245 km and from trivandrum also is very near 70 km if you are planning the trivandrum as you have a time means you can uh, you can stay at kanyakumari experience kanyakumari this is a famous and we can see fantastic sunrise and sunset a view from a kanyakumari and we have a lot of options to stay here hotels two star three star everything and we have another sites in as well vivekananda rock memorial and other nearby temples and other more hogenical water it is very near to bangalore it is located in tamil nadu but very near to bangalore 180 km from bangalore and it is a fantastic waterfalls must recommended to visit a uh, bangalore people a day trip also they can do and best time is september to feb where there is a water level is good that time is recommendable and we have nearby other attraction also if your time permit you can do it and boating also your famous and oil masters another thing and foodie lovers here will get a, a fish curry sun very famous in hogenical you can experience as a day trip and vedanta gal this is a bird sanctuary where it's located near to kanchipuram if you are traveling to kanchipuram you can you can just look at it. it's a very rare destination but we can plan as a day trip this 48 km from kanchipuram this is the oldest birds water bird sanctuary in india so you can recommend as a day trip we'll go with next and another more pilgrimage places are there in tamil nadu where is coimbatore we have a isha temple it is uh, built by sadguru and it is very famous isha foundation and we have a nearby pollachi coconut city if you have a time you can plan for a day 
and Palani. Palani is a pilgrimage place, it's a Murugan temple. And if you want to cover Palani, you can combination with Kodaikanal also, you can cover very near to Kodaikanal. Tanjavur. It is a 270 kilometers from Kwayambattu and it is a very good place for a heritage lovers. So we can recommend Tanjavur. We can see best architectures, temples here. So and Tanjavur famous for toys, Tanjavur toys. And Kanchipuram. Kanchipuram is a famous for Kamakshi Amman temple, pilgrimage place. And also it is a silk city. You can buy a lot of options, you will get a real silk saris and many more. It is very near to Chennai, 80 kilometer. And with combination of Kanchipuram, you can choose the Mahabalipuram as well. It is very near to uh, Chennai, 55 kilometer. This is also a very famous pilgrimage. We'll go with next, Pondicherry. Pondicherry where you can really experience French culture. Yes. In India, we can see a French culture in Pondicherry. It is also near to Chennai, just 160 kilometers from Chennai, 300 kilometers from Bangalore. The, all the time is best, recommendable time only, October to March is best. And it is a beach destination we can. And most of the, nowadays, most of the corporate people are choosing the Pondicherry to do meetings and family trips, and many more. And we have a lot of options also here, boating and other activities also. It will be nice. And sunrise, sunset view, your very famous points are there. You can recommend that. Three to four days is best to visit. We'll go with the Vishakapatnam. Vishakapatnam is from Andhra Pradesh, where it's located. And it's a beach destination in Andhra Pradesh. So we can recommend beach as a beach destination with a combination of Vishakapatnam and Araku Valley. So Vishakapatnam, we have a lot of sightseeing places, such kind of Bimili Beach and other activities also there and the museum, Vishakapatnam Museum. And Lighthouse is very famous in Vishakapatnam and Zoo Harbor. And activities means we can experience here scuba driving, snorkeling, jet Jatki, Kayaki, minimum three to four days is required for a Vishakapatana. But Vishakapatana, you can plan with other combination of Arku Valley. Arku Valley, we can call as a South Indian caution. Yes, we have such treasury nature locations in Arku Valley. So Arku Valley, best to experience is train journey. Yes, from Vishakapatana to Araku, there is a train journey of five hours. 120 kilometers, we can cross the 58 tunnels, 84 bridges, and landscapes, and that view will amazing in this strange journey. And here are the stays again. So we can't get a luxury stays in Araku. A basic stay of two star we can call as, but it's tremendous nature lovers. They can experience with combination with Araku. And Hyderabad, yes, it is the capital city of Telangana. This is the best city hub. We can recommend one more in the south. So we have a lot of sightseeing places where we can experience at least a four days for a trip. Ramoji Film City, entire day it will take to a, a cover a Ramoji Film City. Another four, like a Charminar, and other more places also there in a Hyderabad. For a foodie lovers, Hyderabad biryani is the best in Hyderabad. So it's required three to four days and we have many more options to do in Hyderabad. And suggestions, suggestive itineraries. There is no such fixed itineraries for a South. According to client's requirement, their depends their whatever the destination they want, we can recommend many options. So here I'm choosing one are like ex Bangalore, ex Coimbatore, ex from uh, Chennai, and from Vaidya. So we'll start with Bangalore. From Bangalore, we have a lot of um, combination. So I'm choosing the one night Bangalore, one night Mysore, two nights Kur, two nights Suti, two nights Kodakan. If they want to uh, experience the South, one bell, so they can choose this package recommendable. This nice is enough to cover 
and in this the state for stay also we can take as a combination way like in a cool we can take as a copy a state stay and a ut we can choose a resorts kunnur and kodaikanal and we'll go with next itinerary two nights cool one night bandipur two nights vaina two nights ut in this itinerary we can start from bangalore we can reach by uh, evening a cool it will take minimum 6 hours to reach a cool and if they want a bandipur also we can add a bandipur so either while going to uti we can add this place bandipur why i will get and two nights why not why i given a why not why not is this a kerala place but we can get between a tour to uti if they want we can plan two nights of why not we can recommend that we can plan according to flight stay and dandeli so as i said for adventure lovers dandeli is the best place so it is a bit far from bangalore if you are traveling by on a road to dandeli it is required a minimum 10 hours to reach there so two nights is must for dandeli to experience the best adventure then we'll go with other one mangalore and chikmagalore yes if they are starting from a mangalore we can choose two nights mangalore or one night mangalore and two nights chikmagalore as i said like in a mangalore uh, we can get a hotel in a chikmagalore resort home stay combination they can experience then uh, gokarna for a beach lovers we can give up gokarna one or two nights we have lot of option to stay there or luxury stays as well and karwar also even karwar also we have beach side resorts and hotels they can do it then now heritage destination so there is a combination of hampi badami bijapur so we'll take a two nights hampi two nights badami and if as a day trip also we can choose the bizapur so this is the one belt we can cover a heritage destination and next pilgrimage we have lot of options for a pilgrimages but i am recommendable one is one night murudeshwara one night dharmasthala with this two nights we can cover even shrungeri as well and other more pilgrimage on the way which we can plan then two more places also there ex bangalore that is the air card air card we can plan compare with chennai bangalore is new york and even elangiri also elangiri also we can choose a two night stay and we can plan from bangalore the next from coimbatore coimbatore yes if very near to uti so we can recommend ex coimbatore for a four nights if they do have a four nights two nights ot two nights for i cannot with a combination of coimbatore as well and next if we are going to madurai some people will choose the coimbatore route to going to rameshwaram madurai due to flight connectivity issue we can do like that also or we can give a ex coimbatore madurai as well one night madurai two nights rameshwaram one night kanyakumari we can do this combination pilgrimage destination then from chennai from ex chennai we can give one night stay chennai two nights pandicherry this combination will be nice for who want to experience pandicherry and we have other more uh, places also ex chennai that is the tirupati tirupati is located in andhra pradesh but we can give ex chennai we can operate from here and one night kanchipuram one night mahabalipuram also ex vizag yes as i told you vizag or vishakhapatna is a best destination we can choose with the combination of araku two nights vizag two nights araku and ex vishakhapatna we have a, another interesting itinerary also that is to rajamandri to rajamandri one night we have a different sightseeing there and papikondalu papikondalu we can give a night stay as a islands also we we have a 
night stay camping in a islands papikondalu and one night badrachalam badrachalam is a rama temple the pilgrimage center but we can recommend this combination next we'll go with hyderabad yes hyderabad is minimum 3 to 4 days is required to cover experience and uh, hyderabad a uh, choose where you are located is uh, under your hotel where you are choosing a hotel also is very much important because you just choose near to your sightseeing places wherever you are staying we have a lot of options like three star two star and resorts many more best recommend is four night or three nights then yes so must uh, famous food items in south india we are going to discuss south india is the best hub for a foodie if you are visiting south india you have to experience this hall so we'll go one by one one is manlur bonda where it is a famous in a coastal area of karnataka this bonda and manlur buns buns it looks like a puri buns means bread so it is made with as like a sweet uh, with banana and sugar such uh, recipe they will use and kotte kadbu kotte kadbu is famous in coor as well as coastal area of karnataka then masala dosa yes in the south is famous for dosas we have lot of kind lot variety of dosas masala dosa is one most you should try and neer dosa neer dosa again is a famous in coastal place near means water so where it is a dosa very thin and soft so you can experience in mangalore or tour if you are traveling the udp coastal area you can experience this and mysore pak this is a famous in a uh, karnataka where you will get best mysore pak with a ghee in mysore so obat obatu is a sweet the karnataka religion we can say all the festival time there will be a but it's a sweet and ragi ball again in a karnataka is a very famous ragi ball with a combination of other dishes and non veg and idli sambar idli sambar is south indian food but in a tamil nadu is very famous dish idli sambar then medu vada medu means soft so it is a vada soft vada we can call it is famous in tamil nadu nai paisa again it is the must uh, in the tamil nadu very famous sweet regularly they will uh, all the festivals they give to then puli hora puli hora is famous in andhra pradesh we can say other other south place also especially in andhra pradesh telangana and gongura pachadi yes this is the famous for andhra and telangana gongura pachadi we can call see like as a pickle as well and guthwankaya guthwankaya means it's a brinjal curry it's a very famous in andhra or telangana then putarekalu putarekalu is a famous in uh, coastal area of we can say like uh, vizag and other uh, andhra places it is look like a tissue tissue we can call as a tissue sweet also then bongolo chicken means it's a bamboo chicken they will cook in a bamboo stick this chicken very delicious if you are traveling to wider you must uh, taste this one then chapala pulse that means fish curry fish curry also very famous in wider you must experience then hyderabad biryani hyderabad biryani is must should experience for a non veg lovers in a hyderabad so these are the few i given a south indian dishes very famous and thank you so much yeah well, uh, that was a very uh, composite uh, and and i must say detailed presentation about south india and specifically you know uh, the end of the presentation was primarily interesting with the cuisines of south india i am sure the audience must have already uh, you know started feeling hungry and uh, wanting to probably visit one of those destinations and have uh, those cuisines Can play so, a small video there yes yes why not please okay a small video coming up about uh, the south indian regions that yeah. we just discovered
can see the screen? Yes, we can. The video is stuck. The video is not playing. I'm not very sure what the problem it's is. It's not clear? No, no, no. It's not play. It's it's not playing smoothly. It's it's lagging a bit. Audience, if you are able to see the video, please let me know into the live chat. It is okay. Now it is okay. Somewhat, yes. Bhargavi, uh, a small feedback. Can we just pause the video for once? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, basically what is happening is the video is lagging and the audio is not as much clear. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll share this video with everyone uh, due to the internet connectivity issue or something or, uh, or the other. Uh, the video is lagging and it's not creating the experience that it should. So no we'll be problem. sharing this. Uh, it uh, will be definitely sharing this uh, uh, video with each and every participant along with the uh, with the presentation. It's time uh, we take some of the questions that the audience might have. So audience, if you have any questions uh, with 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 regards to uh, you know whatever we discuss, whichever destination and all the topics that we've covered so far, and you want to ask any any questions. You can start posting your questions now and uh, Bhargavi here will be answering all the questions in detail for you. We already have received some of the questions from Traffclan application and we'll, be start take, uh, we'll, we'll start taking them up one by one. So the first question that uh, that is coming, Bhargavi, the yeah. question is basically, you know, uh, if there is a budget traveler, you know, and uh, he or she might have, a, you know, a restriction of... Uh, of budget and time and the number of days that they might want to spend what according to you uh, you know are the best picks uh, you know uh, from all the destinations that we've covered what are the must visits that you know one has to go there no matter what right when they okay. are exploring south india okay i got it so if they have a limited time and they want to experience the best places me we can recommend a cool booty this is a hill station okay okay and they want to experience with the beach combination hill then we'll recommend vizag arku x vizag okay okay and and if they want to do a pilgrimage again it's a tamil nadu is the best for a pilgrimage it's like temple city we can recommend there so we okay. have a like a different city we can choose according to their uh, days they do have and their budget we can choose a different and if they want to experience adventures, we have a lot of uh, adventures. As I told you, Elangiri is very near from Bangalore. We can do as a two days as well. And again, Dandeli. Dandeli is very near to Goa as well. We can do that combination okay. of Goa and that. So we have a lot of. Mm -hmm. According to the clients required as a given a itinerary, I given a very brief itinerary, but we can do that lot of combination. More than 50 itineraries we can make in Southwick more than 50 okay interesting uh, okay so i hope that answers the question for everyone that you know uh, there are specific region there are specific destination that one can select according to their requirement if they want to do pilgrimage there is a specific destination if they want uh, you know to probably go to a hill station kurg is the destination to visit and accordingly for beach and for adventure activities as well so uh, you know it it uh, the, the part of the country the south southern part of the country is so rich in terms of uh, what it has to offer, uh, you know, it, it it actually just you know uh, blows the mind of, of the travelers and the viewers who are exploring the destination. Well, moving on to the next question that uh, we have here, 
the next question that we have is uh, coming in from uh, Padmashta uh, Travel Services, and the question is: uh, Can you just suggest some of uh, the like good hotel options uh, in uh, Badrachalam and uh, Rajmudra? If uh, you have any Rajamandri, Rajamandri, yeah, yeah. Rajamandri, yeah. Rajamandri, no issue. So we okay. have a Rajamandri is very. It is in uh, Andhra Pradesh. We can okay. choose uh, from a visa the trip. Rajamandri, we have a minimum of hotels, not that luxury hotels we can expect. Uh, but uh, Badra Chalamandri, it's a pilgrimage place, so we can't expect a more luxury stays there. So just to stay like a two star on Lenzi, so it's a pilgrimage place. So that's why if they want to experience such a different way, it's a papi kondalu. Actually, Rajamandri to Badra Chalam, there is a boat. We can see it's a cruise, as a small right. cruise. They will take as a uh, as a journey. On the way, we can give our travelers required a stay. So they will stop at Papi Kondalu. They can stay in a night with a camping and island. Then they can continue the Badra Chalam. So it's a combination of experience and nature and pilgrimage. So Rajamandri, we can't expect a more like luxury. But these are yeah. like to see a finding new weekend recommend. Even Al Arak was. Okay. Okay. I think that answers the question well. Considering the destination, you know, probably one cannot expect a luxury hotel option or something like that. But yes, uh, you know, we can find decent uh, hotel options there as well. Moving on to the next question that we have, it's coming in from my untold journeys, and uh, the question is, what places are suitable for traditional, cultural, and textile tours? Very specific question. I think we have covered traditional and cultural somewhat. But yes, some something uh, uh, on textile tours. Textile means maybe they are heard about Kanchipuram. Kanchipuram yes. is very famous for us still. Yes, traditional means we can start with the Chennai. We can cover a Tirupati. In a Tirupati surrounding, we have a lot of temples to do as well. So we can take a two night stay in Tirupati. We can cover nearby famous a pilgrimage center. Lot of options is there like. A, uh, near Tirupati, we have a uh, Tirupati one night, one to two nights we can choose. Then Kanchipuram, then Mahabalipurashwaram. Like that, we can plan. So Kanchipuram is textile, as you said, like it's a very famous for silk. Okay. We can choose okay. that route. Okay. Okay. So uh, before moving forward to the next question, I would just like to announce that the South India Destination Quiz is now live. So all the participants who wants to participate in the quiz uh, can click the link below in the live chat and uh, you know start answering all the questions correctly. Those of you who are watching it via the Traffclans platform, uh, uh, Traffclans platform, whether it's Traffclan website or Traffclan application, there is a tab given below called "Click Here to Participate." By pressing that button, you will be redirected towards the quiz and you will be able to answer the questions live. The quiz will be live only for a few minutes, so please hurry up and answer all the questions correctly. Uh, moving on to the next uh, questions. Uh, so, if if there, uh, uh, if there is a specific. Uh, probably uh, a travel business who wants or uh, you know who deals in educational trips right who who deals in uh, uh, you know uh, for college uh, industrial visits what are some of the destinations that uh, we can explore when it comes to south india yeah Karen. so we have a lot of options for educational tours as well uh, ex bangalore so again i am talking about why cities because we have different options so you know from bangalore we can suggest uh, hampi badami Aihole, Patanakallu, Vizapur, these are one route. And if they do have a short time and for a small kids, we can recommend a Banergata National Biological Park and Dipur. This is the route we can recommend. So these are many more are there. So this is a must we can suggest for an educational tour. Okay. Okay. Uh, moving on to the next question that we have. Uh, considering the current situation that uh, the country is in and as well as, you know, the entire uh, travel industry is in, uh, coronavirus situation, you know, what exactly is the coronavirus situation when it comes to all these destinations and uh, are things starting to get normal? Any update on that from your end? Uh, yes. Uh, regarding this, yes, we must talk about because many travelers worried about after the post-COVID how the things will be. Because we have to organize when the packages before post-COVID and after, I means 
before Corona and after Corona actually. So we have, yes, we should suggest the customers like a, after the COVID, we are waiting for a government uh, things as well. So it has to be clear uh, instruction about the tourism and everything we are waiting. Yes, as of now in Bangalore and Chennai is not recommendable at present, but very soon, we are hoping very soon in few one or two months, we are hoping there will be good results and towards about it. And yes, resorts are a little bit, they are reopening the resorts and hotels and they are sending how they are planning about safety measurements they are taking. And even a caps also, we are taking a safety measurement. We are allowing only two to three people and we are making a separate, uh, dividing the cabining from driver to and our clients. So these are basic precautions and as well as mask and uh, sanitizer, this is basic things we are doing. And yes, after post COVID, uh, wherever the travelers is traveling, so we must suggest some uh, safety measures to travelers, as well as we should be very choosing about the resorts or hotels. That must be. So we can't choose like as before to stay. So now it's very important thing while choosing the stay, we should take this measure. Okay, okay. And, uh, you know, can, you know, just adding on to that question, uh, do you personally think that, you know, probably the uh, the travelers will be shifting more towards, uh, you know, homestays or private properties or, you know, Airbnbs rather than booking a hotel? Uh, like, do you, like, what is your opinion on that? My opinion is, I wouldn't think so, because nowadays then people will start depending on travel agents because local travel agents must need it for a best suggestion for them which hotel because to offer in online is different and and on the spot reality will be different so they need a proper guidance nowadays so and to airbnb and other online hotel portals it's up to travelers no no, no, no. I, I, think, I think i think no 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 uh, what i what i mean to ask uh, this question uh, by this question is uh, do you think that travelers might be uh, you know more preferring uh, you know preferring more the uh, probably the private property options, you know, even though they are booked with uh, via travel agents, of course, but, you know, uh, rather than, you know, going to a hotel, they... Okay, 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 okay. You, I got your stay point, stay like, as an uh, option. Huh, you, what you are saying, yeah. rather than going to a hotel, they might choose an individual stay. Yes. But yes. I won't think so. But at least if your hotel are three star, they will maintain a properly that uh, cleansing uh, measurements because that is a prestigious point. But private people, such homestays, we don't know. What, uh, yesterday night, other people are stayed. It is completely sanitized or not. It's a question mark. But if hotel yeah. means they will they will take compulsory. Otherwise, the hotel will close. Right? right so, right. but private property, we can't recommend in this space particularly. So, we don't know. So, because they are not that much highly sanitizing and the stuffs and everybody should be used the sanitizing mask we can't expect from private properties in these days but hotels okay. and so we can go with the three star two star is a better at least okay. not below okay. that my recommendation okay. understood understood moving on to the next question that we have so all the all the all, you know all the itineraries that we just discussed you know and uh, what is exactly the, you know, the total number of days one might have if they want to explore the entire region? <laughs> I know that's actually a bit too much to ask, but again, you know, uh, the question is coming in from one of the viewers. So, uh, uh, what exactly, you know, how many number of nights uh, one needs, one require to actually cover the majority of the things, uh, you know, okay. to get a feel of the South India, um, you know, and uh, and obviously the budget budget point as well. You know, so what is the upper limit and the lower limit we are looking at while yeah, uh, covering the entire region? Yeah, the first uh, one I'll answer about the days. Yes, if one who want to experience some complete, complete south, we recommend a minimum of minimum of 18 to 20 days if they want to cover the complete south. Okay, mm -hmm. but they can start in a smarter way that from Bangalore. So the from Bangalore, one belt they can cover in max to max 10 12 days. Again, okay. they can reach back Bangalore and they can choose 
they can skip uh, some uh, Chennai if they don't want a pilgrimage. They can reach Vaisag and they again they can spend four to five days there and they can cover. And they want to experience Chennai again from Vaisag Airport. It, because if completely by land is very difficult journey to travel. That is about complete itinerary. If they want to experience a complete. And otherwise, they do have it three days, four days, five days, whatever it is. We have a lot of options for each individual traveler. I didn't mention in a PPT, each individually. As I said, we can make a customized 50 more, five zero, 50 more itineraries for act for every traveler. That is about itineraries. And second point, budget. Yes, starting from 10K. Yes, your hiring is correct. Starting from 10K to 1 lakh, we have a various options budget level for all yeah. budgets and they do have a little luxury and comfort zone they want to experience yeah. resort and especially a different kind of stay like a tree house mm -hmm. rock house resort beach homestay estate stay whatever it is so we have mm -hmm. a, all options in the south okay, okay. i think i done it yeah, Any no, so, uh, you know, uh, just just a little bit of information uh, more on that. So what I, uh, you know, what I mean to ask is, what is the lower limit and the upper limit? You know, if someone is, uh, you know, for for the 18, 18 or 20 days that we just discussed, what is the lower limit and the upper limit in in in, in price point, you know, just just to give yeah. the viewers an idea. Yeah, about, so except you know, only land package I can give, for example, yeah, yeah, 20 yeah, days. Right. 20 days also for a land package per person, we can we can do a lower limit of 35 to 40 K onwards. Okay. okay. So till two lakhs according to what the properties and the hotel types they are choosing. So we can start with a 40 K also per person as a lower limit. Okay. okay. For 20 I days. For 20 days. Okay. Huh. So if they're choosing that... a three days, four days, we have a couple packages starting with 15k, 20k, even a honeymoon packages, we have a 20k, 25k, and a different combination of hill station and with a different activities as well, like a candlelight dinner we can organize and a beach side uh, candlelight dinner we can organize. And mm -hmm. many more are there as per traveler requirement. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think that answers the question well. And I think we have covered almost all the questions that we had. So audience, if you have any more questions left, please post your questions and we are taking up all the questions right now. If you like today's video and today's session, please hit the like button. It actually helps us support uh, on our mission to actually provide you the best content. Uh, okay, so it's time that we uh, technically announce uh, the winners for today's quiz. The quiz is now closed and uh, the winners are here with us. And uh, so I have the list of winners with me. Uh, in meantime, if you have any more questions, you can start posting your questions and I'll be announcing the winners now. So uh, today's quiz uh, was about South India uh, destination knowledge quiz. And uh, the questions somewhat revolved around, you know, the entire thing that we discussed, some basic facts and uh, some general knowledge about the, about, about the region. So the top 15 people who actually won and gave all the answers correctly are uh, Prakash Ranjan, Pranay Raut, uh, Dakshita, Biju Joseph, Pallavi, Kavita Dalvi, Abhay, Nina Kulkarni, Chirag, Christy Thomas Kurian, Kalyan Makam, Mahesh Pawar, Ria Jauri, Bobby Bhatia, and Sweetie Mariam Kurian. Okay. Uh, so that's uh, these are the 15 lucky winners. Congratulations to all the winners who took part and won today's quiz. Congratulations and thank you so much for participating. In meantime, any more question coming up, then we'll we'll be happy to take any more questions. Okay, so this question is uh, coming in from uh, Abhishek Bansal, and the question is Bhargavi. With regards to Andhra Pradesh, uh, many tour organizations do not consider places like uh, Maipadu Beach, Silla Thorunam Ta Talkona Waterfalls, Sirakota Space Center, Bhavani Islands. So, uh, you know, can you please, uh, you know, shed some more light on these respective destinations that Abhishek just mentioned? Yeah, actually, Tarang, so these all the destinations are very rare destination. Most of the uh, travelers won't recommend to travel there. So that's why we are not much concentrating on those. 
And who okay. want to particularly on those destination, it's it again as a customized destination, we can made it. But okay. stay options are very less on those destinations. That's why okay. it's not like actually we choose a very few. It's not only limit which I we choose the Vizag, Araku, and Rajamandri, Badrachalam, and Telangana, Hyderabad. Not only this is the destination in those states, we have a lot of options. So according to time limit and south weekend, we are covering. No? So that's why I choose a limited option. That's okay. any, yes, any, we can any... do customize on that, but it's a bit difficult to uh, organize a luxury in or to satisfy all kind of travelers. So that is the why we are not choosing those uh, destinations. Okay. Any specific reason why they are not very much uh, popular? Uh, that, just, I, uh, that I that I can't say. Okay. So it's, it is not something that is regularly, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, so sold. we are. Cho I choose this destination from seven to I mean, so ten years. We are organizing many kind of south tours. So okay. in those who are the traveler most asking the destination, we choose today south okay. weekend. Okay. That's okay. Great, a uh, great, great, great. Okay, so I think we have covered up almost all the questions, and we are through with the Q and A as well. Uh, we have tried and taken up each and every question that the audience might have. Thank you so much, Bargavi, for this. Uh, one second, interview. one second, Tarun. I would like to thank you and Haranga and Khalil for this and Trakland team. Thank you so much, and for all the viewers, thanks for your valuable time spending with us, and congratulations for the winners. Definitely, definitely. Uh, well, thank you so much, Bhargavi, for taking thank out the you. time to do this presentation.